it was a mess, really. Um, I found that, you know, things were quite unmanageable. I had tried to come to family and friends first and sort of come to them and go through them because I was I was ultimately scared of going to a service. Mm -hmm. And I found that, you know, things were becoming more and more unsustainable, you know, like things that had worked for me at the very, very start of my use and things that I thought were going to work the whole time had started to not work. I, I had one in particular that I used, okay. um, didn't start with that drug okay. and it kind of sort of emphasized everything that I loved about, okay. about the drugs previous, but also then amplified the, the negative effects too. The drug of choice caused me great pain a lot of the time. I was taking it to an extent that my body itself was reacting. I didn't want to go to services. That very much included the GP and the NHS. It was scary. It was affecting my professional career and, and you know, my relationships with my friends, my family, all that sort of stuff. I was being more honest with my friends and family, like I said. However, they didn't have the tools perhaps somebody like yourself or, or the other people within okay. the service were would have and would be able to sort of try to give me. From what I then read, I, I realized that a lot of, if not all of this is kept confidential unless you are mm -hmm. risk to yourself. And, and even then there's processes to follow. And I felt more secure in it. I did a little bit of research, that sort of stuff. Okay. And ultimately I, I sort of made the decision that enough was enough and, and yeah. it was time to make a change outside of me just trying to do it. I received a call from yourself as an early sort of triage, you know, in, in the place I was previously receiving service, I didn't get that immediately. I did feel that things were explained a lot better. Um, I understood sort of scheduling, you know, I, I knew that appointments were most likely gonna be weekly and, and definitely I could contact you or, or the service itself if I needed it. I came in at the latest point possible for yourselves. Um, and even then, like the reassurance that I, I received of, you know, yeah, you're, you're the final age and stuff like that. However, we can definitely try and support you as much as possible, you know, you walk through the number of sessions, sort of what we would look at um, in a sort of broad manner. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I sort of understood it a little bit more. I think that the biggest change for me was perspective. You know, I came in at a point where I felt like everything that could go wrong had went wrong. I was disconnected from my family, who I just moved close to, you know. I was on my way out of a role that I really, really enjoyed and a company that I really enjoyed. I may not have seen it at that time, but ultimately now with a bit of reflection, which is always nice, I'm able to say that the, the steps were already there. I think self-sabotage and, and sort of blame and guilt and all of the things that we feel as, as addicts or people who struggle with addiction, it was all there. and, and I often then blamed myself, you know, sabotage myself. Mm. And that's what may or may not feel sort of yourself going mm. to this, but with the support that I received throughout the sessions, it was a slow build, you know, at the, at the start, it wasn't like, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. In fact, it was never like that. It was always suggestions. It was always things that like, oh, well, why don't you look at it this way? Very often, I didn't see the perspective as well as I thought I did of the other people involved, of the people around me. So I feel like the perspective of, okay, well, why might they feel like this? And why might that then affect their response to you? Okay. You know, it, it wasn't all, I knew everything and I understood it all. In fact, I had so much more to consider and so yeah. much more to understand. So I think through using that perspective, it then has allowed me to take sort of better steps at, okay. at, at sort of, a, controlling my addiction, B, building those relationships back that I've mm -hmm. lost. Like I said, my family and I were disconnected, you know, it, it has started to rebuild. My sessions have just finished. I have a lot of work to do. I think my favorite phrase that was used by yourself <laughs> um, was that I, I didn't necessarily have all the tools and other people may not have all of the tools mm -hmm. to support me in in that um in that way you know for a lot of people this is a scary thing it's 
okay for me and I'm, I'm the person in the middle doing it you know but sort of understanding that I have a little bit more knowledge and experience of drug use and stuff like that than perhaps my parents or yeah. any of my family members you know it sort of then was it made it more acceptable more understanding mm-hmm. for me of their point of view and like I said perspective all that sort of stuff so I've been equipped with more tools I mean my first word of advice is go for it you know what if you got to lose you're probably at a point now where you're looking at things like this being like do I need to do this you're probably scared you're probably freaking out we I felt like that I know a lot of other people who do feel like that even if that's not to you and you're not scared you're not worried you know things snowball quite quickly and in, in what we do and do to ourselves and do to our families and other people it's not all our fault and mm-hmm. somewhere like DSA you can reach out to them it's confidential they'll do that to you guys if it doesn't sound like it's for you you're not forced I was not then held to regard that I <laughs> needed to go to my appointments and I needed to do all this you know it it was open it was honest things were explained to me I could ask questions I didn't feel pressure to do it things were explained well like I said previously so I feel like what have, like literally what have you got to lose you know if you're in a situation now where you feel things are maybe becoming more unmanageable you've maybe lost friends family anything like that you know mm-hmm. people die to this disease and let's be real here none of us hopefully want that to be us yeah. so if you are in a position where you feel comfortable reaching out the first chat and all of the chats are confidential like i said